and try to do this without glasses, but I can't see without my glasses. So get you some gear, sent me some coffee gear the other day. Kettle for pour overs, scale, decanter, and three pour over sets. I wanted to show off some of those pour overs as a thank you to get you some gear. If you don't know about get you some gear, they send coffee related gear to baristas in marginalized groups across the country. Thank you, get you gear. Get you some gear. Get you some gear. Get you some. Get you some gear. Get you some. Get you some gear. Get you some gear. Anyway, I'm using my black and bold coffee to test out these pour overs. I got a Kalita pour over. It's a nice looking metal standard flat bottom. This interesting looking one is insulated with like a double glass wall. Another flat bottom. Looks fancy. This one right here is the most different looking coffee device I have ever seen in person. Hey, whoops, I tend to drop things. That'll come up later, sadly. I'm so excited. Let's go. I'm going to start with the metal flat bottom. The flat bottom can potentially like make coffee taste a little less bitter and sour. Uh, maybe a little more fruity, some other things. And the metal supposedly leaves a better tasting coffee, helps retain heat and all that. It's cool. Don't worry, I'm gonna drink this at the end with the others. <clears throat> now this glass one is cool. The double wall thing is supposed to act insulation to the coffee. And as you can see, there's no handle. It was designed to just be able to grab it, you know, without a handle. And as cool as that is, I ended up dropping it while I was cleaning it after this whole thing and it shattered into a million pieces. Which really sucks. I'm sorry, get you some gear for destroying completely the gift that you gave me. I would have used that if I ever had some bougie or fancy looking guests. Anyway, I'm glad I got to try it. Cool experience. Oh, one thing I noticed about this pour over, how few drips came after the bulk of the pour over was done. Usually there's a few more extra drips that take longer to get all the way through the filter. In my experience, I think the double insulation kept just a little bit more of the liquid. I'll go over how this tasted at the end as well. Finally, I tried out this thin metal cone-shaped interesting looking thing. As you can see, I had a little trouble balancing this one on my brand new decanter. So I tried it on my little wee 4 ounce Gibraltar glass. Still had a little trouble balancing it, uh, but it seemed more stable on the glass than the decanter. So I went with that. But then of course I realized that the cone filter was going down too far into the cup. So I swapped it out for the decanter but I kind of rushed the transferring process. I had some trouble getting the filter to fit in straight and this happened. I always seem to think I can actually balance things when I can't. That's how I ended up breaking the glass one. I missed that pour over. So attempt number two, this time was better. I stuck with a glass since it was more stable than that narrow angled opening of the decanter. Uh, but this time I used an 8 ounce glass instead of a 4 ounce glass. The key here was to make sure that the pour over was actually level on the cup. I also spent more time making sure the filter was level within the pour over so the water could run through it more evenly. Here are the results. The coffee from the first metal pour over was good, of course. I've tried this black and bold coffee before and it was about what I expected. So delicious and bold. The coffee from the insulated glass pour over that later shattered into a million pieces was definitely different. It was a lot lighter. The coffee bag says that this coffee has notes of bell pepper and lemon. The bell pepper was definitely strong with the first one, but a little bit less in this one. The wiry, funky pour over coffee thing actually tasted a lot similar to the double walled insulated one. Same lighter color than the first. It also had a lighter taste, but this one was slightly more acidic than the last one. With this one, a little bit more of the lemon came through. I definitely like the taste of this one the best. 
Next time, I'm going to have to compare it with another cone-shaped pour over and see which one I prefer since the other two were both flat bottom. But I was so excited about this one and I'm so glad that I can't break it. So thanks again. Get you some gear. I really appreciate this gear you sent me. I will be in touch.